What's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in to another Eastern Current Fishing video. So it is a beautiful Sunday at about 11 o'clock, 11.30. We just finished streaming, live streaming our church service. Uh, we're doing that now because of the coronavirus. We can't gather together at church. Um, but since it's so nice, going to meet up with some guys and go do a little spring albacore fishing. The spring albacore fishing has been as good as it gets here the past couple days. So if you like fish blowing up on the surface and uh, ag aggressive runs and drag screaming, stay tuned and check this video out right here. Still able to find a little gas. Shot some in the motor, or not the motor, in the gas tank. You go do a little fishing. Already? Ready. Ready to go. It didn't take long. Burning that drag. Oh! Now if you can still land them, that's going to be the trick. Spider wire. Never buy spider wire. <laughs> Second cast, hooked one, and big old wind knot. Thank you, spider wire. I got to see that one blow it up right there by the boat. And he's tail wrapped. Fish. <laughs> what do you think about your first Albie? Worth it in the first 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so the release is just hold him over the boat and drop him head first down into the water. Get that rush of or water through his gills. There he goes. Let's get you another rod. Just wait till you see him start popping again. I'm gonna go a little further. Hold on, hold on. That's so hard. <laughs> All right, try him. Watch for those pops and throw back in there. There he is. Nice work. I saw that blow up. On him. So if he's taking drag, don't reel. Because it'll it'll twist that braid up on there. And then you'll get a wind knot when you go to cast. You can tighten your drag down maybe a half turn. You gotta do that palm up. Lift up, reel down, lift up, reel down. Putting on a clinic. It's my new favorite thing to say. <laughs> I can't remember who I heard say that. I like that. Still can't even see color, Wade. I see my face turn. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Oh, that's a big one. It's a little mahi mahi. I'm just kidding. <laughs> the colors looked right for a second. Nice fish. Like that, he just had got 10 feet on you. On the hoagie potty jig. Let me get that D hook for you. 
This little thing's money. Just grab it. A little twist. A little twist. Nice work, brother. There you go. Go right out here, Roger, right off the bow. There you go. You got another one. He's giving you the backhand cast, though. This is almost like when I take weight on my boat. <laughs> <laughs> They're still blowing up up there. Birds just aren't popped off. Well, we're looking pretty hard for them today. They're just not up on the surface quite as good, but when we find them, they're ready to play. Marking a bunch of fish down deep. They're just not getting up very good. That's a big one. <laughs> I think it's a beard only my wife loves. <laughs> that is a stud. Might be the biggest one of the year right there. Oh, that's a big one. Oh. He choked it too. Grab that tail from her real quick. Wherever that thing is, I'll right there. there it is. No, they don't. They're strong. Just dump and blow. Look at them. Let's get a picture real quick. Got him. Sweet. <laughs> Bloody. Will you grab that brush back there? Yeah, that sea deck, it just holds it. You get us up parallel to them pretty good. And just kind of throw to those lead birds. See where those birds are dipping there to the left? You seen any of them? Uh, I've seen two or three pops. There we go. Nice work, Roger. Told you, sir. Doubled up. Now the dance of not getting tangled begins. The, the worst dance that Roger and I do. <laughs> All right, Roger, you tell yours go to the right side. Just flick your line to the right and I'll go right. The fish are cooperating pretty nicely, not not get going for the tangle yet. <laughs> they ain't no speckled trout.
We just needed to go for like a 35 minute boat ride to find them. There's the YouTube thumbnail right there. He's ready? Close? Oh, he, I don't know about him. 12 pounds of straight muscle right there. Come here, muddy. Oh, I thought that was a shark for a second, but it's Roger's fish. I saw this big <laughs> flash of color underneath the boat. Actually, let's keep him in the water for a second. Get a picture of both keep him alive. No. Bail? Yeah, we'll get a picture of both of them. This is right around the tip. <laughs> well, I see where the fish still are. We'll try to land them both at the same time. Nice work, dudes. Thank you. All right, let's let them go. You can just drop them. Still spit now. <laughs> nice work. Yep. Got a bit? No. Oh, there he was on it. That was that sick. Was <laughs> that was so sick. Just annihilated on the surface. Did you see that on you? Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Get him back in there. Let's go to the lead of the birds. There you go. Turn and fire one up north there. That's just drag screams in the background. <laughs> Do you feel him at all or no? I saw him. He was Yeah, Wade got smashed too up on the surface. Did you see that on it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I was on it or not. Just oh. I wish we had these fish all year. Oh gosh. Yeah. I'd be broke. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to buy a boat. They don't think twice about those epoxy jigs. Probably just pop that one off my hand. Do that too, good <laughs> they got hard mouths. Yeah, they just got it from center. Probably a good thing, otherwise, we'd probably rip that sucker out. Yeah. 
Yeah. Wait, I think you got the hot hand. Nice fish. Let him go. Boom! Nailed him! Nice work, Wade. Yeah. Get him. Doubled up. It's getting too easy. I'm just getting way left over here. <laughs> Break off? Yeah. That first run is like any, unlike anything else on light tackle. Sometimes it almost gets to the point where you're like, you want to hook them and then you hook them and you're like, oh no. No, I got one. <laughs> Need a five thousand. Hey, wait, I'll let you be my film crew now. <laughs> this is about fifty-two to one. Doubled up, but Wade broke him off. Old snap. Just laying waste to him. That thinner diameter jig, I think, is the ticket. Yeah. Is. Oh, and he's gone. He's like, look at that shiny prop. Yeah. You got him. And the classic sting silver. Nice fish, brother.
<laughs> nice release. Like Slow mo that. <laughs> Well, that was another fun day of spring albacore fishing. Unfortunately, I think it's probably coming to an end. We got some warmer days this, this coming week. We might get maybe three or four more days out there. I could be wrong. They could stick around a little bit longer, but uh, maybe another week or so of those fish being around near shore and, and able to target um, in a half day, just running off the beach and, and throwing some jigs to them. But as always, super fun. Love albacore fishing. If you've never done it, um, hit me up. I can kind of point you in the right direction or if you want to book a trip hit me up as well and we'll uh, we'll set something up for this fall i think we're gonna have a really good good push of albies this fall and it's a, it's a lot of fun to catch them on the fly rod or light tackle but as always if you like this video subscribe to the channel press that like button leave any comments or questions that you might have and i'll see y'all in the next video later